What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. It is already 12.15. Um, Abby is here with me today, however, she did leave to go have breakfast with a friend. And so she's scheduled for eight hours a day, not 10, of course. So uh, she's technically going to be starting at one. It's 12.15 now, so she is not back yet, um, but she will be here later today. Um, we've been pretty busy so far, um, especially for a Thursday. Um, coolest thing so far is that a guy came in and he is buying an N64 for his kids for Christmas and he said that they're younger uh, but he grew up playing the N64 and so he ended up buying the system with uh, it comes with one controller so he bought three extra so he has four controllers total he got a memory card and then he got uh, Super Mario or no Banjo Kazooie Mario Kart um, Wipeout 64 Tony Hawk 1 and wave race and golden eye um so that was a huge sale right there um that was like you know full retail pricing that was like 250 dollars or something um it was mainly the you know the extra controllers um because we sell them for 19.99 with new joysticks and everything um so that you know just those three extra controllers was 60 bucks right there but that was really awesome we've already hit the goal for today you know we passed it an hour ago <laughs> So super awesome. Um, we do have a couple trades. I'm about, I just came in here to, since there's no customers, I'm going to start editing yesterday's vlog. Uh, we do have a couple trades though. So first up, we got Final Fantasy VII for PS1, and then two PS2 controllers, and then a third party PS1 memory card, and also a third party GameCube memory card, which we always need. Um, and then... The other trade that we got, the guy who bought the N64 traded these in. It's Clay Fighter and Street Fighter 2 for Super Nintendo. So that's everything that's come in so far, and I'm kind of hoping that like nothing else really does because um, I want to be making more sales and sp spending less money, basically. Um, I buy a lot of stuff for the store off of eBay or from GameStop or whatever it is, um, which is you know, it's good to have that kind of stuff in stock, but like right now we have a lot of stuff. I don't need to buy more Mario Karts or more Smash Brothers. I don't have any Banjo Kazooies left now because he bought the only one, but I just want to kind of just take a little break from buying a lot of stuff online. Of course, I'm still going to be buying stuff that people bring into trade, but um, with, you know, our first taxes coming up and everything, I, I just want to make sure that we have plenty of money. And, uh, so that's going to require me to not spend as much and to just, just have like, maybe like a solid two weeks of just daily sales without really spending much. And that'll, that'll really boost the bank account. And that'll be really nice. Um, we're not in trouble or anything. Of course, there's plenty of money in there. Just, you know, just want to be safe. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog and get that uploaded and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this is that PS2 I picked up from the outlet yesterday. And this is going to be the moment of truth. We're going to see if there's a game in here. Oh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 2. That is, oh, it used to be resurfaced. Let's see if we have a case for it. We only have the case for Kingdom Hearts 1. Dang it. But still, I mean... Could have been a better game, but the chances of it being a worse game were way higher, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so Abby is on her way back. She should be here within, like, the next 20 minutes or so. Uh, she took a little bit longer. She was supposed to be starting at 1, but it's almost 2, but um, that's all right. She's actually, like, doing work for me. She's just not at the store. She had to run home and ship an eBay thing that we didn't have uh, the right packing material here for, and then she's stopping and getting some lunch as well. But I just wanted to vlog really quick here because it's Thursday. Usually Thursdays are better than like Tuesday and Monday. We're closed Wednesday, of course, but no normally Thursdays are not great. But today has been really, really good so far. We were almost double what the daily goal is so far, and it's only 155. So doing pretty good. But I also wanted to mention that um, I've been picking up a lot of dinosaur figures from the outlet. This one's a dragon, but still, um, I picked these things up. The first time I picked them up, 
and I regretted it instantly. As soon as we got them back here, I was like, man, these are never going to sell. I shouldn't have bought them. And I put them out for like three bucks each and they sold right away. And I was like, okay, that was kind of unexpected. I even asked my friend David, who's really into toys. And I was like, Hey man, should I buy these? And he's like, no. And I, and, but he didn't get back to me until after I'd already bought them. So I was like, oh crap. And so I regretted it, but then they sold right away. And so I was like, hmm, you know, let me, I'll, I'll grab them again if I see them. And I did. And one person just came in and bought three more. And one of the ones that he bought was one of the ones I picked up yesterday. You guys, I don't know if I showed it, um, but it was just, it was like a little T-Rex figure. Um, and then I had a couple more that I had gotten last week that I put out here with the rest of the toys. And he grabbed both of those as well. And he was an older guy. He was probably like 65 or something. And he's like, yeah, he said these are going to go into like a model train, like setup. So he's got like a model train that's like, you know, going around or whatever. And he's decorating the landscape with things. And I guess he's doing like a prehistoric type thing, which doesn't really make sense for a train. But um, he was very excited to, to get those here. And it was his first time in, so he made an account and everything, and he said he's going to be coming back because uh, I told him that I've been finding them more often recently, which is true, and so he's going to continue to buy them if I keep bringing them in, so that's very awesome. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's 2 o'clock, uh, going good so far, and sales are really good. No one else has traded anything else in, which honestly is what I'm hoping for today. All right, guys, we just got a cool trade in here. We got Final Fantasy three for Super Nintendo. Box has some damage, but this is just box and cartridge. There's no map or no manual. There's no cardboard insert even. But the other one is the box only for Chrono Trigger. This one's in pretty good shape. Um, he didn't have the cartridge. He has the one poster and map kind of thing. So it's missing the manual, the game, and the other map. But very, very awesome. And he took cash on these. Um, but he said he might have some more and he'll be bringing them back if he finds them. All right guys We just got a massive trade in here. Check this out so Someone sent me a listing a Facebook marketplace listing They sent me like a screenshot of it for a for three ps2s with eight controllers and 360 games for 200 bucks and I messaged the guy and I was like hey do you have like a list or close-up pictures of them because it was kind of like this and you couldn't tell what was in there and I've seen a couple ads like this before where 90% of the games are sports games and so he sent me like five pictures of some of them close up and I was like okay I'll take them can you please bring them to the store and he agreed and so he brought it in I gave him the 200 bucks cash and here's what we got so first up over here we have three systems two slims and a fat and then there's a bunch of controllers accessories all that kind of stuff in there and then there was this stack of disc only games. Some of these are PS1, so just try to go through them kind of quick. Nothing super special in here, but still Spyro, pretty good. There's some decent ones, but like I said, nothing too crazy. That was pretty good. So we got those disc only ones. Uh, there was also these PS1 games. No manual for that one. And then so far we found two empty cases, these two. Kind of sucks that these ones are empty, but um, we have not gone through all the games yet, of course. Uh, we just, I just pulled out those two. Um, these were also in there, which these are some of the better ones. There's more than this, but these are the really good ones. And these are all complete. And I'll be keeping at least that one. I do not have that one. Um, then there were also two factory sealed games. Nothing super special, but I'll probably keep those because I don't have them. And then there were two GameCube games mixed in a lot. The guy said he also has some GameCube stuff and some N64 stuff that he's going to be bringing in. It's not going to be on this level. He said he has maybe 20 games for each, but he still plays them. So he's going to go through and bring in what he is not interested in keeping. So now let's go through these. I'm obviously not going to read them all off. I'm just going to go through like this. But you guys can pause if you need to and check out, you know, what's in here. There are some sports games, but not very many compared to, like, how many games are in here, basically. So, 
There's a lot of good stuff, and it worked out to being way less than a dollar a game, which is super awesome. So as you can see, there's some better stuff, Radio Stories and Star Ocean. And there's a lot of doubles too. And I would say probably a third of these have Goodwill price tags on them or like garage sale price tags. So he definitely spent some money on these, um, but he was just looking to sell them all bulk. He said he had a ton of people contacting him trying to be like, oh, will you sell this one game separately? And he was just like, no, I wanna get rid of everything at once. So that's very good for me. Because of course, we are just interested in everything. So we'll just keep going through. Like I said, pause if you need to. There's nothing super crazy in here. There's no rule of rose or haunting ground or anything like that, but still some good stuff and lots of good sellers for the store. And I'll probably be able to keep a little handful of games that I don't have. Um, usually I don't keep any like filler titles for disc based systems. Even though I am going for the complete sets, I try to focus on getting like the harder to find stuff out of the way. And I'd rather let the store have the inventory than me take like Smuggler's Run, for example, or something like that. So um, I probably won't keep more than five games total out of here. And the main one I'm looking at is that Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I already have it for the original Xbox, but not for PS2. So very awesome trade in. And this is going to be a ton of work to go through these. All right, guys, we're about to close, but I went through the whole PS2 lot, and these are the games that I'm keeping for the collection. The bottom two there are factory sealed. The rest we just do not have, and they are complete. So there's tons of games still that we are selling, of course, there's so many. All these here, those ones there, these here, and then these ones as well. So tons of stuff. Sales today were really, really good, especially for a Thursday. Um, we sold two N64s, um, tons of stuff. Obviously, these came in, which was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's just been a good day overall. So uh, we're going to finish up doing what we're doing, probably head home. Josh will be in tomorrow to resurface all these games. Um, I'm sure some of them don't need it, but a lot of them had Goodwill price tags. So I think a lot of them are going to need it so so yeah i mean i don't really know what else we're gonna be doing but i know that um i'm at least gonna be stopping on the way home to grab some food abby got a pizza and that's root beer <laughs> just so you guys know and i got orange cream soda from the pizza place so abby got pizza i'm gonna steal some but i think i want something i don't know what i want on the way home but what time is it what time is it? What time is it? 8.59. 8.59. So we close in less than one minute. So I guess we got to start turning some stuff off. <laughs>